But when you give money to a cause, it can be hard to see exactly how you made a difference. This next story shows you how it all came together. Thanks to donations, Low Country firefighters were able to save a family's dogs after a fire damaged their home. News 3's Andrew Davis has the story. This is what Burton firefighters saw when they got to this Broad River home Friday afternoon. And this is what they heard. We made it to the door and the homeowner stated that all of her animals were still inside. Five animals in all, so they went into the smoke-filled building to save some four-legged lives. Dogs, especially when they're not around their owner, um, you know, a guy in gear with a mask on is going to scare the dog. And it, in fact, we found the second dog hiding. He was hiding under a table. And were able to pull a total of five dogs from that home safely. Two needed help. That's where an important piece of equipment came in. And as you know, with animals, they have a snout. It's long and, and pointy, and these will fit over them appropriately because you want to have a tight seal, like with humans, to provide oxygen. These pet oxygen masks were donated by Invisible Fence to Beaufort County EMS back in 2019, and all the EMTs in the field are trained on the devices. Since then, those kits have helped protect and save multiple animal lives, including at least two at this scene alone. We provided oxygen to him, um, and within five, ten minutes, he was back walking around. While the home was severely damaged, the staff believes this was a success because everyone, human or animal, walked away safely. But officials say the people inside during situations like these play a key role in making sure that happens. If you can grab your pets on the way out of the house if there's a fire, by all means grab them and get out. But if the animals run and hide, get out of the house. Um, if you're not on the front lawn to tell us where those animals are and where we can start looking for them, we're running behind the clock. And if you go in the house and stay in the house and become a victim yourself, you're actually doing more harm to the very animals that you were trying to save. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Since the last donation of masks in 2019, Buford EMS has grown with more staff and more trucks. They're hoping to get additional donations to stock all of their vehicles. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help the family after losing their home. Just go to WSAV.com slash Broad River Fire to learn how you can help.